What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Thick and Chunky Show. I'm your host, Mr. Corey Styles, like always. And today, I'm back with my man Max Carnage from Big Eaters Club. He invited me with him over here to McMinnville, Oregon, to a place called Rib Slayer's Barbecue to Go. Can you see in the back this smoker right here? These dudes got a nice little quaint joint where they serve up barbecue to the fine people of McMinnville. They are known for having great barbecue, but one thing they also do is make stuff that's so hot you should never consume it. So what am I here to do? Be the dummy, bro. That's what I do. So this is a revamped version of their sandwich and it's supposed to be hotter than it's ever been before. Now, I love spicy food, but I'm just not very good at it. Max is gonna eat this thing as fast as he can. Me, I'm gonna try to just eat it at all. You have a five minute time limit to consume the sandwich. After that, you have to wait five minutes for kind of an afterburn. Max just hollered at me and said that he's getting ready to make them. Let's jump back there and see how they make this crazy creation. I start with our super fresh toasted gourmet buns. They're brioche buns, nice and soft, really good, absorbs all thing. And I, what I do, I have this Reaper mustard that goes on each of the buns. I'm four, or three or four feet away and I can smell that from behind the camera. Yeah, the, the warmth of it is this way. Just dunk your bun in the water it doesn't get you. This. I also have something that's called Squeezin's hot sauce that I got from the Portland Hot Food Show. And I also have the end of all hot sauces. This hot sauce, one, two drops, is gonna be fine, but we'll use like six. So I got two fresh fire roasted Reaper chilies, and then I got our first awesome full pork. So I'm gonna put a couple sandwiches worth. And then I'm gonna put the squeezing sauce in. Just a little bit. This is really gonna make it nice and saucy and warm. Five ounces of pork, go on. And then we have our fresh smoked sliced beef brisket. And I'm gonna put that, a couple sandwiches worked on there too. And then, so to, to end it up, our challenge is gonna be with the end. And you can find this stuff you know, anywhere underground or in Germany in the black market. But we're just gonna put oh a couple dressings on there. What? I don't wanna put too much because it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna make it too hot. Seems like an easy enough challenge, right? Everything in the basket, five minutes or less. You're on the wall of flame. You got five minutes for afterburn. And if you can handle all that, you get a special prize in your store. If you finish this, you get a special prize and you'll be immortalized. Sounds like a winner to me. And you can also say that if Max can do it, I can do it. So when it comes to hot food, I'm not very good at it. I just eat it as quick as I can, and then I'm pretty much worthless after that. So I called in a friend who loves spice, who you guys have seen before. We did some nachos together. He is a spice guy. So I'm gonna speed eat this as quick as I can, and then once I give up and I hit the milk, he's gonna take over and tell you what's going on and what he's feeling. Give me a countdown from five. Five, four, three, wait. Two, one. All right, doing good. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Go, Corey! <laughs> 30 <laughs> seconds. All right. So as I watched him make this, he made it with everything hot you can believe underneath the moon. Oh, God. There, it's good though, huh? There's Reapers on here. Oh, God. All right. I don't know that I got enough milk. <laughs> <laughs> and the challenge is with water. Don't be too serious. Better make sure that I got it here to use first. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember, he's going to tell you what this tastes like because I can't taste anything other than fire. 
All right, so the very first thing you taste is the delicious barbecue. Shout out to these guys, man. This is good home barbecue, man. You can taste the love and care that's been put into it, but I'm gonna tell you what. The next second, it stabs you in the back. You get the rebra. Oh, I only took one bite so far. I can't close my eyes if I want to. Okay, so the, uh, the, the hot sauce that is on this tastes delicious, but it's deadly. In my opinion, this is one of the best barbecue sandwiches I ever had for the first three seconds that I ate it. After that, it's definitely the hottest thing that I've ever consumed in my life. I was just at the Hot Sauce Expo last weekend. I ate everything you can imagine. I've had the Reaper by itself and... My guy. Bro, this is intense. How you feeling? I need more milk. This is so good, I'm going to... I make bad choices. <laughs> Two and a half minutes. Okay. No. Nope. <laughs> That'd be the be all. Terrible. That's, I got, what did I get, three bites? No. F this thing, it is really hot. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, I absolutely despise coleslaw, but I have to eat this. It's great. That was hot. great slaw. Yeah. <gasps> it's kind of a break. I have a little break from all the heat, oh, too. God. I thought I hated coleslaw. We make our own onion dressing for that. It's homemade, my wife Teresa Higginson. Oh, this makes the greatest potato salad, too. Greatest coleslaw. Greatest Thai peanut slaw all around, anywhere. You guys can see, look at my nose. It is dripping. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, boy. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I don't think nobody's gonna beat this. I don't think anybody's There's gonna beat this. one person that we both know that this challenge is perfect for, Wayne. Wayne. Ah! Woo! Mr. Alienio, sir. This is uh this is a challenge for you, man. Chunky bunch, I want if you get a chance to stop by McMinnville, man. Oh god. Stop by, visit Craig oh, and Teresa god. here, man. The stuff they do is nuts. Oh god. It is intense. Oh god. Hey Max. Oh god. Thanks for inviting me out here. Don't 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 call me again. <laughs> <laughs> At least for a couple weeks. Don't call me again. Yeah. Um there's no there's no possible way. Yeah. The previous one was a 10 minute. Okay, let me tell you. Ugh. Normally you eat hot stuff and your lips are on fire or your tongue is on fire. I literally have fire from the tip of my lip to the bottom of my stomach. It's like a fire trail. Is the barbecue sauce on? Ooh. Is it hot? No, it's our house sauce. I really want to try a piece of this barbecue. Ugh. That's good barbecue, man. Oh, I still had some hot on it. Oh. oh, I messed up. I shouldn't have gone back to the well. I shouldn't have gone back to the well. Oh, it's so delicious. I, I just ate it again. You, sir, make an amazing sandwich. All right. Yeah, sounds good. So, Corey, take a breath. Give it one final go over. Tell everybody what you think now that you got it all. Absolutely. So. One of the things that you guys saw earlier in the video was the mustard. That spicy mustard is for real, for real, for real. But it, the flavor is amazing. So that spicy mustard by itself, I would have eaten the whole sandwich. Maybe any one except for the end of the world, maybe any one aspect on the sandwich, I might have been able to do the whole sandwich. But you get that Reaper, you get that end of the world. What was the other sauce? You get the Squeezins Reaper. And you get that hot mustard, that reaper mustard, right? Mm hmm Oh, man. Uh, My teeth hurt. Ooh. If you think you're brave, if you think you can do hot stuff, come on down to Rip Slayers, see what you can do. You gotta call ahead of time, though. Craig's the only one crazy enough to make it. <laughs> <laughs>
I am crazy, but I like people to come by and visit and have some good barbecue. I want to thank you two guys a lot. Really appreciate it. Bro, oh, my lips hurt so bad. Bob, you want to try this? So my pop, this is the guy I get my ability to even try spicy food from. He can spicy food me under the rug all day, every day. What you think, Bob? That's a good sandwich. <laughs> he's eating it, look at that, he's eating it, no problem. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's a, that's a hot sandwich. Uh, mm. that's a good sandwich. Bro, look how swollen they are. My lips are so, I, I, What? My, look how, they're swollen, man. This beautiful face and now these lips are swollen? <laughs> So I just had the first coleslaw that I've ever actually enjoyed consuming. Now, yes, it's because it saved my life and it cooled this down, but it was delicious, man. I can't tell you enough about what these dudes at Rib Slayer do. This is their Thai slaw, Thai peanut slaw. That's awesome. 